So here we have a pretty cool MIDI progression going on here. Sort of a dance mix. But what if we want to turn this into audio? Let's go ahead and stop this for now. So what if I want to work with this MIDI in audio? Well, of course we have things like commit. We have things like freeze. We have things like being able to bounce things out. We have things where we could just uh, maybe route this out to a new track and record the audio. But in this video, we're going to focus on the easy way, the quick way, the like a boss way to turn MIDI into audio here in Pro Tools. And that's just by dragging and dropping. Now, the only thing you need to be aware of is that we need to have a track of the same width, an audio track of the same width. Meaning if I have a stereo track, I need to drag my MIDI to a stereo track. If I have a mono instrument track, then I would drag that to a mono audio track. Here's a mono track and here's the MIDI. If I just drag this down to this track, you see nothing, I'm not getting it on that track at all. Okay, and control Z out of that. Come back here. Now, if on the other hand, let's say I want just this part here, just this drum progression. I want that to be audio. Watch this, grab it, drop it onto the stereo audio track anywhere I want. Release and boom, immediately that's bounced to audio. We still have our MIDI right up here, but now I have this track here. Let me just solo just this track. I'll even move it out of the way. Right there, we have a perfect drum loop of that MIDI. So now we can use our MIDI uh, like audio or, you know, it is audio. We can use this audio track to process with plugins, maybe come in here and cut it up in the way uh, you do with audio, which, you know, could be easier uh, than MIDI sometimes. This can also be a really quick way to uh, remix. So maybe just uh, this progression right here. And we have this transposed down one octave. So if I turn that off, it sounds like that. So I'll turn it back on. Let's just drag this to audio. Now I could drag this to a new track or the same one, doesn't matter. Release it. There we go. Now we have this perfect loop right here in audio, all ready to go. Now what if I want to take, say, this whole part here, let me actually just select this one, shift select this one, I can actually bounce this entire part here, this entire MIDI track, even though it's different clips, let's drag this down to a new, uh, new audio track, all the way down here, right there, release, and now we're going to get that entire progression, that entire MIDI track that's on our instrument track there, bounced into audio, pretty quick here, and there we go, and if we zoom in a bit, you can see we have separate audio clips. So we bounce this entire MIDI progression, this entire MIDI track into separate audio clips in one go. So if we just solo that, make sure nothing else is soloed. Just that. Let's grab, say this uh, drum track here. And maybe I want to do a tape stop on that with my audio suite. So now I can do that just by coming here to pitch shift, of course, and verify. And we've already looked at this, of course. We'll just go ahead and render it there at the end. And listen to that. <laughs> Pretty cool. So in this case, I might want to actually consolidate this clip here, up here to edit and consolidate that clip. And I could, of course, then uh, start to structure out my track and have a cool tape stop effect there uh, at the end of this track here. So go try it out.